guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is on this makeup look with red lips something I make a little bit new for me and cold eyes as you can see the makeup look is not that difficult I would say I lost used today a tip so I'm going to show you how to use it I'm going to my teeth are red I'm going to do the voiceover so yeah if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want if you know want to know how to achieve this makeup look just keep on watching okay guys my skin is already primed i used as always my collection as imperfection and um rcma no color powder and i'm just using the tape now and basically you have to put the tape a few times on your hand and take it off just to make it less sticky otherwise you will hurt yourself and i'm taking now mac and color wedge and my sigma e40 which i was talking about about it in last video and i'm just packing it on my crease but actually i'm putting it only in the inner corner outer corner sorry and i'm just blending it out just to have a very nice uh, crease These colors you, you have to build a lot from MAC I just noticed so yeah it takes time. Now I'm taking Makeup Be Creme Brulee and I'm adding a little bit of warmth to my crease and I'm actually carrying it even more into inner corner but I'm mostly focusing on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm coming back to the wedge by MAC and I'm trying to dip out the uh, crease you have to really work with this eyeshadows that's why I'm not really using MAC very often now I'm taking my M brush M in number six and I'm taking embark as well by MAC and I'm just blending this uh, into my in outer corner these brushes are really nice they are blending so easily and there is so much pleasure to work with them so i don't really mind to work with mac shadows and with these brushes it's actually pleasure because you have to build in the color and these brushes are amazing as i said probably 100 times already now i'm taking makeup revolution the foil eyeshadow and color rose gold and i'm just dabbing my finger in and i'm just dabbing it on my eyelid as you can see I didn't really put any liquid or anything as this we're supposed to do. I just dab my finger in and I'm just dabbing it right now on my lid. Now I'm coming back with my uh, end brush number six and I'm just trying to blend it out. You have to as well work a little bit with that because basically these eyeshadows are a bit different texture. So I'm taking a little bit of embark and I'm trying to blend it out nicely. To deep the, uh, the outer corner I'm taking Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I'm taking my Morphe M169 and I'm just darkening out my outer corner. The tape is really helpful because you can get a really nice straight line and don't really have to bother about any fallout or anything like that. You can be as messy as you want to. Just put as many eyeshadow as you want to, as dark as you wish. I'm taking my M brush number six and I'm just blending everything out to don't, uh, to don't have any harsh line and to see the colors like getting through each other. It's very nice. Now I'm taking off my tape because I don't really need it anymore. As I can see, the line is very nice. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay uh, oh, uh, pff, glitter um, eyeliner glitter and color midnight cowboy and i just wanted to add something a little more sparkly even more than it is already now i'm taking my zoeva graphic eyes in color black to everyone just tight lining now i'm taking my mascara from l'oreal volume lashes so black and i'm just curling my lashes with this cold mascara Now I'm taking my Demi Wispies lashes and trying to put them on. I'm using my glue from House of Lashes. They were playing me so badly in that day, the lashes, even the Ardell one. Now I'm moving to the face. I'm using my Catrice Prime and Fine, the anti-shine one. 
it's still my favorite it's literally amazing and now I'm taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD and L'Oreal Infallible and I'm just mixing them together and I'm just blending that with my Beauty Blender into my skin Now I'm taking my Smashbox contour stick and I'm just putting the stick basically in the places when I'm going to contour. I'm going today with very heavy contour. You can't see this already but in the right will we see more. And I'm using my oval brush by Makeup Revolution which is absolutely fantastic to blend my contour stick. I really love it and so far I've never swapped it for anything else. It's just look fabulous. So I'm just yeah blending everything in and when I contour I'm moving to my concealer and I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Concealer and my Catrice Liquid Camouflage. I'm mixing both colors because the, the Urban Decay is too light for me. I'm waiting when I will run out again of it so it will probably be really soon and I will get a little bit darker and I'm covering as well my bloody spot. And with, uh, I really want to have still the harsh line, so I'm just making a line with a concealer next to my uh, lines from the tape. And I'm just very carefully going to blend it in with the, where I do have a line from the eyeshadow. I would say that my nose contour, it's really snatched this time. And as you can see, I'm working very carefully and even using my finger to just to blend everything. Just don't touch anything and don't ruin the perfect straight line. Now I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just do a little baking. I love this combination. It's really my eyes are so smooth and so nice. Now I'm moving to my Laura Mercier in translucent setting powder and I'm using my beauty blender and I'm really working this powder with a beauty blender into my T-zone, the places when I'm getting really oily, especially my chin. I'm just really focusing on that and when I'm doing that, I'm really not shiny using as well my other stuff, which is my, my base and my um, foundation. So it's like it stay on all night. Now I'm using my Laguna bronzer and I'm just doing a little bit more of contour. Basically, I put all powder around my face. I just didn't really work that um, into my skin on my cheeks. The Laura Mercier one, I just, you know, do a little wipe there. Contour the same as I've done, I've done with contour stick, just exactly the same places. Now I'm using my um, M brush in number four and Essence um, eye blush when bury me up, which is my favorite recently. And now I'm using Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and my four 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 SS by Inglot. I forgot how amazing is that highlighter I'm not using it really often now so that glow you can't really see it now maybe a little bit but trust me it's fantastic now I'm taking my Zoeva black to earth again and I'm tight lining my lower lash line and I'm really focusing on that to put very close to my lash line because I don't really like when the skin is coming through now I'm taking the Wedge and my MAC and my Luxie 217 and I'm just a little bit blending everything. Now I'm taking the Embark by MAC and my Sigma E15 
and I'm just putting this very close to my lash line. Now I'm taking uh, my C my Morphe E36, I guess, and again Makeup Geek Creme Brulee, and I'm just blending everything out. And I'll take the coat of mascara. I love my faces when I'm doing mascara on my lower lash line. I'm looking so hot. Now I'm coming back with my Champagne Pop by Becca and my Zoeva 230. And I'm just putting highlighter in my inner corners. It looks so nice, in my opinion. Now I'm going to move to lips, I guess. And I'm using my Zoeva Cross, Cross My Heart. It's just a very nice lipstick. It's, as you can see, really red. It's not really... I can't really convince myself to, re to wear red. I don't know, or any dark colors. I am not really feel comfortable in that. Even though they kind of suit me. I just prefer to wear something nude, a nude girl. And yeah, if you've done any mistake, just take a little concealer brush and yeah, just fix the stuff. And that's the finished makeup look. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, we'll see you in my next video. Bye!